Hi, my name is Zida Mai from the University of Toronto. I'm going to present our recent paper, Supervised Contrasted Replay. So in this paper, we focus on the online class incremental setting, where the model needs to learn new classes continually from an online data stream. And the data arrive a small batch at a time, and the model is only allowed to see each sample once. The test ID is not available at both training and testing time. So this setting is more realistic and challenging than the traditional test incremental setting. The softmax classifier has been the de facto standard for classification tasks. So when it comes to continued learning, softmax classifier may be the first one to try, but it may not be the best. There are several problems from the softmax classifier. Firstly, whenever the model sees new classes, it needs to add new weights in the fully content layer to accommodate those new classes. And secondly, it's about the recency bias, which refers to the prediction bias towards the most recent classes. We find that the mean of weights for new classes is much higher than the old classes in the fully connected layer, and which is why it produces a strong prediction bias. So we found that the nearest class mean classifier is a very simple but effective substitute for softmax classifier. The NCM classifier computes a class mean which we also call the prototype for each class using the embeddings of this class. Then we compare the embedding of the test samples with all the prototypes and assign the class label of the closest prototypes to the test sample. Although the NCM classifier is very simple, but when we compare five continuous learning methods with the default softmax classifier and the NCM classifier, we find that those with the NCM classifier shows consist consistently better performance on three different datasets. But to effectively use in the NCM classifier, we need a high quality encoder which generate good embeddings. That means embedding from the same class should be close together and those from different classes should be far apart. So to this end, we propose SCR, Supervised Contrasted Replay. So whenever we receive a mini batch from the data stream, we also retrieve another mini batch from the memory buffer to create the input batch. Then we will feed the input batch as well as the augmented view of this batch into the encoder followed by a projection head, and uh, which can be a either linear layer or multi-layer perceptron. Then the model is updated using the supervised contrast loss, which I will cover in the next slide. And during the testing phase, all the samples from the memory buffer are used to uh, compute the prototypes. Then the NCM classifier will use those prototypes for prediction. And this is the supervised contrast loss we use. The loss shown here is for a specific sample I. So in the numerator, zi represents the embedding for sample i, and zp represents the embeddings for all the positive samples, which include the augmented view of the sample i, and also other samples from the same class. And in the denominator, zj are the embeddings for all the samples from the mini batch, which include both the negatives and positive sample. So by minimizing this loss, we want sample i to be close to those positive samples and far apart from those negative samples. With the supervised contrast loss, the embeddings of SCR are much cluster, are much better cluster and separated based on the label, which provides a very solid foundation for using the NCM classifier. So with the supervised contrast loss and the NCM classifier, uh, the SCR shows pretty strong performance compared to the base lights on three different datasets. So in conclusions, we found that the NCM classifier is a simple but very effective substitute for the softmax classifier in the online continuous learning, and we advocate using it in the future research. And to effectively leverage NCM classifier, we propose SCR that explicitly encourages samples from the same class to cluster tightly while pushing sample from different classes further apart. Thank you so much for listening. So if you have any questions for this paper or future collaboration, please don't hesitate to contact me through this email.
Thank you.